Hey, hey, back again, bringing you hella content today. I'm like just pumping it all out, you know? <clears throat> yeah, anyway, uh, so what we got here? We got Spider-Man. Um, can't remember, can't even remember the name of this game. <laughs> Spider-Man Edge of Time. I think it's Edge of Time. Anyway, so this is the sequel to Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. Which came out last, last year, I think. Yeah, Edge of Time. So this game is created by b -Nox. I hope I'm saying that name right. And published by Activision. Um, instead of how Shattered Dimension had four different Spider-Mans, you had Ultimate Spider-Man, you had Noir Spider-Man, 2099 Spider-Man, and Black Suit Spider-Man. Here, the story only focuses on Ultimate Spider-Man and 2099 Spider-Man. I think it's 2099. Um, I don't know what that dude's name is. This, this is Spider-Man from the future, basically. So, um, if you don't know anything about the game, just based off the trailers and how they've been uh, promoting the game, pretty much this game is a race against time to save the past Ultimate Spider-Man and also save the future. So as you'll see, this is be the first 16 minutes or so. Um, you got somebody who goes back into the past and you already know time travel equals bad. So pretty much you can probably already know where the story is going from there. Um, you start the game out just like this. You immediately brought into a opening fight sequence. Um, I forgot the English term for it, but basically it's when you're put in one spot and then as the story goes on, it'll say um, previously or earlier that week. So what you're seeing here is kind of like the future, but you're going to go back in time as well to try to fix anything that happens until this point. Then eventually towards the end, you get to this fight again. That's just what I'm assuming. So we got Ultimate Spider-Man here and his ass whipped by Eddie Brock or Brooke, Eddie something. And this is pretty much how the story begins. Now, I mean, personally, um, where this video ends is where I stopped playing as well. But from what I played, it's not too bad. I think I might actually enjoy this game. I think Joystick gave this a 2.5 out of 5 stars. I wasn't a fan of Shattered Dimensions at all. Like, I hated that game. So when they announced that Beanox was making another game just like it, I wasn't really looking forward to it. I actually like a um, web of shadows. That was my favorite Spider-Man game, but apparently Activision doesn't think so, so they canceled that one. And I think they shut down that studio too. Anyway, this is Spidey as you see here. Is he dead? We don't know, but we will go back in time and try to figure out the events that led up to here. Earlier in the future. See what they did there? Earlier, but in the future. <laughs> I keep trying to tell myself that I'm just jealous of Walker Sloan's progress. It was only five years ago that he first showed up at Alchemax talking about harnessing energy from the fourth dimension. Now he won't stop until he's running the place. I know his type. He's thinking beyond Alchemax, aiming towards who knows what. He's the exact type of corporate monster I've sworn to rein in. Especially if he's mucking with time travel. The year 2099 might not be much, but it's all mine. And he's not going to change it. He's been siphoning Alchemax resources into converting the gateway and the old virtual unreality lab into something else. Something dangerous. I've tried talking to him, but he's got no time for Miguel O'Hara. But people make time for Spider-Man. Just use the convenient access to the ventilation system to get inside, and then Walker and I can have a little chat. Alright, so we got an achievement right here. And now we are Spider-Man 2099. We're playing as him in the year 2099, of course. You know what's crazy? So if it's the year 2100, does that make him Spider-Man 2100? Hmm, that's something to think about. Anyway, so pretty much this is continuing the opening sequence 
you know, the intro. See all the credits rolling in. And this is actually me playing here, not just a movie. But, uh, yeah. I see they've been keeping busy in the cybernetics division. Well, it's a lot of shocking robots down there. During the day, as Miguel O'Hara, Alchemax geneticist, I could have walked right in. But at night, the security protocols kick in. So, pretty much for the next, I don't know, 10 minutes, maybe. <laughs> All we're doing is crawling through that. Like, I kid you not. The genetics lab. Without that department, I wouldn't be the man I am today. Try to run, try to do something. Can't, didn't work. So pretty much just crawl, 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 and crawl some more. But yeah, I haven't checked out any other reviews about this game. This is also another title. Yep, you guessed it. I picked up from Redbox. Redbox is like the greatest thing since sliced bread. I kid you not. Two dollars a night. Yeah, get with me. But anyway, yeah. Um, I think I might actually. I'll try to beat it if I can. I don't know how my schedule is. But if I don't have enough time, I might as well just pick up the full game. Because it is, um, from what I played, it doesn't seem like it'll be that bad. But yeah, they do have it available on PS3, Xbox 360, and some other platform. I think it was Wii. If you want to, you know, visit a local red box and, you know, try it out. And yep, more crawling. Thought I was playing. Oh, he stands. There you are. Holographic assistant online. How may I serve you, Mr. Sloan? Hello, Joseph. Run a final check and initiate security bioscans. Preparing systems, Mr. Sloan. This one so the person you've seen here is who I'm assuming is the main boss, or I guess main enemy. This is the guy who travels back in time and kind of fucks up everything, you know. <sighs> this thing is so oversensitive. An ant probably crawled into it and threw it out of whack. An ant? More like a spider. I think it picked me up. Gotta get out of range. Bioscan sequence initiated. Alright, so nice little mini game here. Didn't really realize what I was doing until later. So what you gotta do, you gotta hide from the scanner. What's that thing's Like a, uh... I don't know what you call it, musical chairs, I assume. And we progress. Just to crawl some more. Oh my god. Slow down, Miguel. Take your time. Don't want to get caught here. Yeah, I would say definitely my favorite Spider Man game would be Spider-Man Web of Shadows. That game is just pretty awesome to me. Um, it's unfortunate they probably won't ever go back to that, but yeah. I don't think Activision knows what they want to do with the Spider-Man game, to be honest. I wonder how like a developer like Rocksteady, if I'm not mistaken, who's also doing Batman, Arkham Asylum, and Arkham City, I wonder how they would do with a Spider-Man game. Probably damn good. But that's my thing. I'm like, if you're holding on to an IP or license and you can't do shit with it, then let it go and let somebody else try. You know what I mean? Stop putting out crappy games and making this wait year after year if you can't make any good Spider-Man games. Well, that go, that go for any licensed game, in my opinion. Oh, no. You don't get away from me that easily. Like X-Men. When was the last X-Men game? No, I'm sorry. The last good X-Men game. Of course Don't worry, I'll wait. Yep. The greatest crawling level ever. Alright, then we repeat the exact same mini-sequence.
not the best opening they could have gone with to capture people's attention, but whatever. Bioscan sequence failed. Bioscan sequence initiated. And more crawling. Yep, he's heading for his time research lab, all right. There's an access point near the generator. Kind of got me upset there when I was playing it. I thought I had unlocked an achievement or something. Turns out, just a mighty game online. So we got the orbs, we got energies, we got spiders, stuff I really didn't care too much about. Now I'm just trying to figure out how to swing. And right trigger it is. Oh, but we missed it. And right back we go. Gateway activation succeed. Time travel ready in sixty seconds. Sixty seconds. No way. All right, so here you see the zip line power. I'm sure everybody's familiar with by now. We just instantly zip into a locked on target. This As example. Charged and I don't have a clue how to huh, got interrupted. Here we go. Shut it down. Only chance is to get to the lab before zip. it's too late. Simple. Or is it? Kind of screwed up if right I here. There in time, he could actually pull this off, go into the past, and tamper with who knows what. I thought I could reach that area right there, but I guess not. Anyway, so we move on. You know, moving on, more crawling. But what's a Spider-Man game without crawling? You know, they could make a whole game where you just crawl, and I bet you would probably sell a hundred thousand copies at least. Of course, it would be a shitty ass Spider Man game, but you know, that just goes to show what licensing can do. And we have reached. Oh no! More crawling. Silly me. Why did I think anything different? If I don't get there in time, he could actually pull almost at Walker's lab. It's pretty funny because in Shattered Dimension, 2099 was actually one of the worst ones I actually hated playing as. It was that one and in the War Spider-Man, I did not like playing that. So every time it was their level, I was just like, oh, fuck this game. Ultimate and Black Suit, or whatever he's called. Biosis, then Biosis, I don't know, something. A little collectible, I think. And obviously not the way to go. So where do we go? I'll tell you where we go. Down the hole, but I didn't know that. So, went back to the entrance. Of course, realized that I need to come here. It's kind of funny, because I actually found that spot by mistake. I was trying to go up or something, maybe. Ended up just falling down. And bam. There he is. Slow. Get back here. No, 
And so it begins, and the future is changed. Makes you think, right? Like, what if one day it actually do invent a time machine? Nothing good can come of it. Like, you you know how many things they could change in history for the time machine? It's like, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy, you know, just thinking about that. Like, imagine the possibilities. It's, it's too dangerous. No, no man can control all that power. No human. Nobody should have all that power. So who knows if they ever actually invent one of those things. We'll all be long dead before then. And it's pretty cool here. Watch how um it affects the past. Oh, uh, Jonah, um, indoor voice, okay? I'm trying to get Mary Jane on the phone. And they don't even know this. That's the crazy part. I'd pay to see that. Oh, Mary Jane, hi. Crazy. Go see a show. Uh, MJ, I, I would love to, but I'm working with Dr. Octavius in the genetics lab on a DNA project. I had to download a sample of my own DNA into the permanent files. As if nothing ever changed. Files. I'm still waiting for some test results. Permanent files, huh? Great, so we'll have to Booty, years booty, 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 rocking you. everywhere. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, how about I come there and we grab a late dinner afterward? Okay, Tiger? Uh, sure, it's okay. Anything for And that's pretty much it. Um, first 15, thanks for watching. Like Comment, rate, and of course subscribe. I'll bring more clips if you want it. Later.